So you have your starting five for De La Zale. They will be taking the north basket. It's De La Zale on the offensive for the first time. Monasterio, who is now calling the shots. Pomaran, splendid, 34 points. Goes for the first basket for De La Zale, 2-0. June Reyes and uh, Ed Reyes, number 10, who was play setter. Beautiful play inside the face. That's Francisco. He's the center right now. Jumper by Pomaran. Controlling the boards, the uh, Flying Eagles. A good steal by Pomaran. A very explosive matchup now developing between him and June Reyes. Monasterio inside the paint and bounces in for two. I guess lucky shot you like that count so much at this stage. You know, they have to go deeper into their bands. So the question is, do they have the deeper bands? We'll find out as we go along. Reyes on top of the key. Santa Maria outstretched, but the Reyes winning out for all. 18 minutes and 13 seconds left in the first. The three big men, the frontliner of the Blue Eagles. Pumar and missing. Batman controlling the offensive boards. You know, Lim staying very close on June Reyes. Bata. Francisco inside the paint, two for two. He's splendid, six all. Quite a touch for a boy of his size. He stands about six foot five. From the outside, we have Bachman. Kurt Bachman, 1960, you remember him. Jim Reyes misses. But we have a follow by Bassa. At the Rizal Memorial in a frenzy. And you can see old and young cheering for their alma mater. Backman controlling the boards, goes inside. That's the six point. Here comes the fast break. Monasterio against Reyes, goes inside. He goes, and the score is 14 8. Very slippery garden has been uh, a powerhouse for the archers. Most closer. Inside play number 18 for Delazal, scoring Carota. Who see him go inside once again? Oh, beautiful follow up. Very important baskets for them. Top of the key by Pomaran. Trying, trying hard to get those rebounds. Take a look at that. Francisco was there for that defensive recovery. Brasella will attack Ar inside. Araneta was set up beautifully. Araneta now converting his first field goal. 21-13. Now at the 15-foot line, 22-16. Yes, that's uh, Araneta. Araneta. Mariano. Cardell lost that ball. Junrez picks it up. No, oh, yes, the foul called on Monasterio. He was 22 to 20. Interesting development really happening here at the Rizal Memorial. Coliseum. Good defense now by Jim Reyes. Exploding with two points and now gets that ball. He can go inside the equalizer. It goes in. And yes, there is a in foul the... called 22 all. He missed it. Rebound controlled by Francisco. Jim Reyes moving down court looking for the opening. Goes. To a pass to Canlas and Canlas delivers. Has given the archers a very difficult time in going for second shots. Four shot selection by De La Zal. There was a slight bump there with no foul called and so a splendid performance so far. Eric Reyes inside the paint. He's been doing the wonders right now for Ateneo. And Lazar has some problems. Via Plana misses from the outside. We have another fast break by Ateneo. It's right. three on three. Nieto inside. The ball goes in. What a lucky shot. He on. is a strong boy, Freddy. A strong boy. Sumakai Kapa is his uh, battle cry. Santa Maria inside. It's been a long time since we've heard from Santa Maria with that shot. 29 to 26, 4 17. Lazal on the offensive. Limpot in the game for the first time. The ball goes in. First shot for Reyes. Has been a tower of strength for the Eagles together with Francisco. He's now inside that paint. You know, this guy moves to with so much fluidity. Missed it. Rebound. A lot of boxing out inside that paint. Pomarin has been working wonders for De La Zal. He just swipe it away from Eric Reyes. Turn around. He converts in a foul. 34 to 31. Jun Reyes. Interesting how he would shoot that ball. He converts. Yes, 36 to 31. Fresh from the bench, and he scores that point. And oh, he does that rally. Short, Francisco. A lot of tenacity in that ball board. I think that was full shot selection by Bachman. That was a kind Reyes of again. Oh, June Reyes is on fire. 38 to 31, and June Reyes. 
no uh, directing operations has been splendid in both offense and defense Reyes you know he has been doing everything for Adineo Mariano it's a long one he misses there's the end of the first quarter with the score at 42 to 33 Adineo leading over De La Salle by nine points in this game that will decide whether Ateneo will win the championship today or De La Salle will extend the series on Wednesday. Spell the difference. The leading in rebounds and leading by nine points for Marin. That's the first basket. 42 to 35. Monasterio on a feed by Pomarin scores 42 to 37. They're down by five. Last against Pomarin. Eric Reyes. are just standing around, Freddy. They're not moving that well. Yes. Inside is Reyes. Yes. On a third around, he converts 44 to 37. That's the first field basket, uh, ba basket by Ateneo. He did that all by himself. He set himself up, but just by his loss. Oh, another penetration by Pomarin. Back when blocked beautifully by uh, Francisco. Transition game, and Rosella converts after that block. 47 to 39, nine point lead once more by Ateneo. 16 45 left in the final half of play. That was a fast break created after that good block by Francisco. So it was defense paying off in two points at the other end. For Martin from three-point country. That was a big one. Ten loss. Well, bingo. 49 to 44. That douses a little bit the rally mounted by the archers with 14.50 left in this ball game. Dindo Pomarin, Cardell, we haven't heard from him for a long time. Well, this time he just said, he heard us, he heard us, 49 to 46. Settle. There's another conversion for you, Eric Ray. He missed it, rebound, it falls to Reyes, and he connects, 53 to 48. Cardell, the high jumping Cardell, off the glass, missed. Mariano has an offensive rebound. Peralta moves closer. It's short rebound controlled by Santa Maria. Turns around. He can next 53 to 40, 51. A lot of spirit in that shot by Santa Maria. And I said it's nine minutes and 19 seconds left. It's still a long road to victory for both teams. It's a conversion by Nieto. Douses the rally. Peralta from in close. Ah, oh, great block by Francisco. Another block by Francisco. Playing great defense, Francisco. Inside Eric Reyes. Well, he converts 57 to 52. And De La Zal is down again by five points. Pumarin with the litter. Eight minutes and 20. He converts 57 to 55. That's a triple for him. Good Reyes. Taking a long one, he douses that rally for the meantime. And 61 to 57, a long drive by Lazal. Good Reyes for a fast break, and he converts coast to coast, 63 to 57. You know, a lot of spirit by Jun Reyes. He has been playing with a lot of intensity. Nieto, very close, he converts too. Oh. The animal. Yes, June Reyes missed it this time. Can lost on a follow-up. He converts 65 to 62. That's Derek Lamarin's strategy for you. They regain possession. Cardell, the high jumper. Oh, oh. He, he converts 65 to 64. Only one. It's Pomarin short. Rebound play. Cardell gets it. Pass off to Juan Osteria. That's who wants to go. Team Spirit. Team Ward beat it. 66 to 65. And De La Zell is upset by one third with 426 left. Rebound controlled by Francisco. Fast break. June Reyes all alone. And he converts 70 to 66. Santa Maria against Eric Reyes. They have met so many times. Cardell. Santa Maria. He converts against Eric Reyes. And he will go to the 15 foot line. Ah. See his emotional reaction, a lot of emotion in that. 72 to 68 with only two minutes and 50, 40. Five seconds left in this ball game. It's still anybody's ball game, although Ateneo has been more consistent. Santa Maria. Another steal by June Reyes. This could be the Isaac. 72 to 74 to oh. 68 with 233 left in this contest. That could be him. 
No foul called blocked beautifully. The ball uh, goes out of block. Oh, what what a a for great block. everybody's on their heels. Francisco dumps that ball. That is the best way to tell the result. So they have won. Pomara and missed that 74 70. That was a traveling earlier by Francisco. A lot of emotions now. And you can see Francisco crying on that court. And everybody from Atina is starting to pour on. Yes, only two seconds left. And the emotion. You can see all the emotion. The court. It's all over the court. You know, it's beyond words to describe what is going on right now on that court with only two seconds left. 74 to 70, very happy, proud man. 75 to 70 as Francisco converts his first charity. And I'm sure this boy will go a long, long way. To 76 to 70. That's the end, and uh, Adeneo wins over Delazar, 76 to 70, to win the second straight UWA Championship. And at this point, LaSalle can call in all the stars of yesteryears, and even the present luminaries, the celebrities of the Green Archers, but there's no turning back what history, what is history now, and that is Ateneo champions for this school year. It was quite a fight, and you know, LaSalle had it in them. They could have. And that was shown by the fact that they were leading by nine points in the first half. They were doing the right things. But you know, defense, you never slump on defense. You can slump offensively, but defense will always be there. And in the end, with 20 minutes of good defensive plays by Fritz Gaston charges spell the difference. Of course, you can always go back to those missed foul shots of LaSalle. Oh, that was horrendous, Freddy. Well, you would say that LaSalle uh, pride uh, may have been broken in this championship, 76-70, but they are still up there. And hopefully in their next championship next year, they can think that they can come better prepared for this match. I guess one thing which makes the uh, LaSalle Ateneo confrontation so full of color and drama is the fact that these two schools, so while they can be the bitter of rivals on this court, they have a certain kind of pride which separates them from the other. And I think our hats to Ateneo and Delazal for a great game and the best ever in the history of the UWP AP after a long, long time. You gotta give credit to LaSalle. So they, they were a good team. They had the talent. And they had the advantage of the bigger gallery, if that is an advantage at all. We're going to have a few words with Jun Reyes, who I think was the main factor here in this game. He is one very proud uh, player today, and I'm sure that a very few words with Jun Reyes, uh, Bebs, will uh, definitely be a big moment and we do hope that everybody who has been here today is very proud to see that Ateneo has made it here well here and one person who must be very happy Zal is uh, somebody who's watching at the studios right now Mr. Dodi Limcalco who happens to be at Ateneo and our friend Joe Cantada who really <laughs> took this very big moment now now now, June, I'd like to ask you, June, how do you feel winning a second straight championship? It's a It's the best feeling I've felt for, for a long, long time. I've never felt this way before. It's very, very big. It's very, it's very big. Did you know that you had a chance of wrapping up in the, this in this game? Oh, we had a 50% chance because we already won the first game, so we had the momentum on our side. So for me, before the game, we had a 50% chance. Uh, which, what do you think was the most crucial point of the game, June? I, I believe it's our, our rebounding. Our big men outclassed their big men. That's, that's an important factor of the game. Yes, and uh, Francisco Disco did a beautiful job. What, what can you say, however, about uh, 
What can you say about Derek Pomarin's game today? Uh, LaSalle Green Archers were banking a lot on his output. I'm talking about uh, Pomarin. What do you say of his game today? You contain him well, uh, didn't you? Bingo yeah, was, was not that spectacular as in the first game, but he was still in his own spectacular form, but he was not that spectacular. And we didn't concentrate on him, we just limited the other guys. We didn't care if he made 30, 40 points as long as the other guys didn't, didn't score. So you stopped the whole team when you started to stop Pomarin as well. Well, thank you very much, June. And I'm sure that, uh, what about the third straight championship next year? Uh, we're gonna go for it. Uh, there are only two guys who will graduate from our team. And so uh, we're, we're more or less intact. So we're going, going for the Grand Slam next year. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations, June. So well, there you have it. He acknowledges our observations about a big man doing a better job. Their big man that is doing a better job. And that is, that is uh, shown by the figures on rebound. And I think we have to single out the performance of Francisco. Of course, uh, Santa Maria of La Salle tried to do his best. But he did it minus the services of Bachman. Bachman was benched for quite a while. And uh, Araneta of La Salle had to make do with Francisco. For a good, with Peralta, rather for a good part of the second half. Well, anyway, uh, Sal, it's been a pleasure covering this game uh, together. And this is Ateneo's championship. It's second straight over its arch rival, De La Salle, winning it 76-70. Uh, and I'm sure that trophy there means so much to Ateneo, winning it for a second straight year with a score of 76-70. And I'm sure for the Ateneo High Flying Eagles, they are very happy with uh, the turnout of this event. Yes, and I, I don't think uh, we're saying too much when we say that uh, this today has been a part of basketball history in this country. Well, in behalf of uh, those people who have been here, I'm sure that uh, the thousands who have lined up starting this morning at 9.30, Antineo is one proud school the rivalry that was stopped in 1976, very much alive today. And I think the stories that we saw here at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum takes a different uh, direction for amateur basketball. And uh, Cadlas for Ateneo receiving the championship trophy, symbol of the uh, big champions for the second straight year. So Sal, thank you very much for joining me. And in behalf of uh, Bev Salvers and the entire OB1 crew. This is Freddie Obando from the Rizal Memorial Coliseum saying thank you for joining us for the championship match in the UAAP between Ateneo and De La Salle, with Ateneo winning 76-70. A pleasant day to all of you.